Although our next speaker requires no introduction uh, after last week's Moscow fireworks, uh, please let me welcome Dr. E. J. Russell. Excuse me. Come to discuss with Is this seat taken? Generating energy by cold fusion. Dr. Russell. Thank you. Good morning. No. Well, we all know that Cold Fusion has had a, a difficult childhood. Those of us in the field are orphans, bastards at best. But difficult childhoods, I believe, make the most interesting adults. And I know that most of you thought that Cold Fusion was an impossible thing. I'm the biggest fan. I think she's a fox. belongs to all of us. Okay. Even though some of you may feel that its practical application is still somewhat speculative. Well, I've come here today to share with you how that dream is slowly becoming a reality. Yes, it may take years to finally learn oh, how to harness time, its go. energy and stabilize its power. But with your help, we can all work towards making the, the dream of cold fusion finally come true. totaling $3 billion were made today to the Red Cross, the Salvation Army, and the United Nations Children's Fund. The funds were wired from the account of jailed Russian tycoon Ivan Tretiak. In other philanthropic news, a non-profit research foundation has been established to develop cold fusion technology. Funded with an anonymous donation and to be headed by Russian physicist Dr. Lev Botkin. The E.J. Russell Foundation is chartered to develop... Flowers at the door Sure as silence follows rain The taste of you upon my lips The fingers in my brain Ever gentle As it kills me where I lay Who am I to resist? Who are you to face? Whisper 